Ow! Can my taste buds grow back if they were damaged? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about taste buds. As you probably already know, the taste buds on your tongue are what relay the different flavors of your food up to your brain. They are a cluster of receptor cells that cover the papillae, which are the tiny little bumps on your tongue, but you can't see the actual taste buds without a microscope. You can see some of the different types of papillae if you look very closely, and each of these papillae have small clusters of taste buds that are in groups of 50 to 150 cells across each surface. So you got lots of taste buds. And depending on where they are located on your tongue, there are five main types of taste buds. Sweet, these ones are mostly at the tip. Unami or savory, this is the most recent addition to the taste bud family. Sour, salty, and bitter. Now sometimes taste buds get swollen for what seems like no reason whatsoever. Other times our taste buds are enlarged because of the papillae getting irritated or traumatized. Some reasons this may happen is from things like what you eat. For some people, spicy or sour foods can make their taste buds swell up. Acid reflux is something else that may cause damage to the tongue. Poor hygiene, someone who never cleans their tongue can often develop some type of residual buildup or a hairy tongue. So always be sure to brush your tongue or even better, use a tongue scraper daily. However, on the other hand, you can also make your taste buds swollen if you're too aggressive with your tongue scraper or using it incorrectly. Maybe you're pressing down too hard or using one that's too rough for your tongue. If you're catching your papillae taste buds on the tongue as you scrape it, you probably could cause some of them to flare up and get swollen for a few days afterwards. When you're using a tongue scraper, only apply light, gentle pressure and slowly pull the tongue scraper from the back of your tongue to the front. I do have a video all about how to properly use a tongue scraper, which I'll link in the description box if you'd like to learn more. And lastly, sometimes infections like thrush, dry mouth, and even something called transient lingual papillitis, TLP, can be the issue of swollen tongue bumps around your taste buds. So if one of these situations has happened to you or is happening to you, how can you get your taste buds back? Can they regrow if they were damaged? Oftentimes, yes, because adults have somewhere between 2,000 and 4,000 taste buds. Normally, the cells responsible for the sensations are replaced every week with new ones. You've probably noticed that if you burn your tongue on hot cheese or pizza or whatever, your food tastes different for a few days afterward. But gradually, those new taste buds become active and your food starts to taste normal again. The same could be said if you're too aggressive with a tongue scraper. So yes, they will grow back, but only as long as you don't keep hurting your tongue every single day. However, recently, we have seen people experience taste dysfunction because of long COVID, right? And in these situations, some experts believe that a tongue film at the cellular level may be to blame for taste insensitivity. Others feel that it's related to a chronic immune inflammatory response or prolonged viral shedding. So yikes, with COVID, we still don't really know what's going on, but it's safe to say with all the other things, burning your tongue, scraping your tongue too hard, your taste buds will return as long as you stop doing whatever you were doing wrong. So in all, if your taste buds appear to be enlarged, it's probably the papillae that they're on and not the actual taste buds that are swollen. But if you do notice any type of enlargement or abnormal swelling on your tongue and it's not going away, always be sure to talk to your dentist. And for even more information on swollen papillae on your tongue, I will link my bumps on tongue video. And I hope this video helped you as well as that one will help you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth, and tongues. Ah!